Welcome back. Summer temperatures, which will be here eventually, can make <laughs> us less willing to exercise outside. Ian Weinberg from Ian Fitness in Seattle is here with an easy routine to keep it going. Ian, take it yeah. away. Yeah, so like Margaret said, it needs to be fun for us to stick with it when it's hot outside, which hopefully it will be soon enough, and when it starts to feel bogged down. So we put together a fun partner workout because partners is all about fun. So we're gonna jump right in here. The ladies are gonna step into some step back lunges and an opposite forward kick. Key here, opposite foot, so you don't kick each other. And then we're gonna switch to the other foot. The transition is always the most challenging part as they're kicking forward. And when we come back to this last lunge, if you hold for just a second, you'll notice here on the form, it's a 90 degree angle with both legs. The knee doesn't come over the toe and then back into the kick portion. Nice, and just a couple left. Beautiful. And then the next exercise we have set up here is a squat hold with dips. So this is a super fun one. And the partner that's doing the squat hold, you can always use a wall for a little extra support. Steph's going into some dips. These look fantastic and lots of fun, of course. Nice. All right, and we'll sort of switch it up. Every partner gets an opportunity to uh, work all the muscle groups down into that squat hold, down into those dips, extending the arms out straight. Oh yes, looking good, looking strong. Perfect. Next up, we're gonna hop down onto the floor for some push-ups. So we're always gonna finish these push-ups with a little high five with the partner across the body. Now you'll notice on the push-ups, our backs are staying flat, shoulders, belly button coming down to the floor. And if we can take a second, we can even do these from the knees if we need to. This works for all levels. And we still come up and give that little cross the body hand slap. Fantastic, all right. Then from there, we'll come all the way down into a plank as we work into the core. So we're on our forearms, back is nice and flat from the elbows all the way to the toes. And they're giving a little dap across to the partner. Back stays flat, those look fantastic. And just when they can't hold it quite long enough, we'll switch to the next exercise. So we'll spin around, have a seat. And now on this one, we're gonna tie the feet in together here and come in for some sit up high tens. You can see we're all about the high fives especially with the partner. We've got to have a little fun in there. Nice, we'll do a couple more. Fantastic, and then we're gonna do one last exercise here where we're gonna bring the feet in together. This is some bicycle ab work, opposite foot's coming forward. So two things, we're working our core on this one and kind of a leg extension with some resistance. Opposite elbows coming to the opposite knee, supporting the neck and you guys can rest. Nice work. So key point on these exercises, taking your time with it, not rushing through it. And again, having the partner concept makes it fun, makes it different so you don't feel like you're on your, on your own on an island and get a little bit boring and not sure what to do. And you got all these high fives that just never really stop, which is so, so great. Because <laughs> you're fun. So Ian, tell me a little bit about modifying some of these, yep. just a couple of things like yep. the lunges mm -hmm. and the, the um, push-ups. Yep. What can we do if we're just starting out? Yeah, for sure. So the lunges, you know, it, taking your time with it. And then if you need, the, the biggest challenge might come up is a little bit of balance. So right. you grab a wall that's nearby. You can also have a kind of a walking stick or something to help you stay balanced if you need. And just taking your time with it. And then also if there's knee pain, you just shorten the distance to your knee coming down to the Would ground. Would you do that? Yeah. Let's yeah, see totally. it so, so we know what that I'll looks have like. Gives an example. So if we're going into our lunge and typically your knee goes all the way down to the floor and we've got a 90 degree angle. If she comes up and goes a second time, it's just slightly going down until mm -hmm. there might be a little bit of pain or until you start to feel a little bit of pain okay. on the knee. And then from there you can come right back up. Same thing yeah. with squats. Can you show us yeah, the form? Yeah, for sure. So Molly will demonstrate here. The key on the squats is our shoulders and chest stay up, our knees are staying back behind the toes, and we come back up. Typically, if there's any pain on the squat, it's usually because it's not being done properly. So the next version is that you just put your back against a wall, and you kind of sit down into a wall sit, so you have all the support you need. Or even you sit down into a chair and then stand right back up, and you do that enough times, you start to develop the muscles and develop the kind of mechanics of it so that you're not going to hurt yourself in the process. That sounds yeah. perfect. Yeah. Thank you so much. Oh, that was great fun. Yeah. In fact, you can join Ian and thousands of people. This is going to be so much wow. fun at all <laughs> fitness levels for a special free boot camp workout at Memorial Stadium in Seattle on Sunday, July 28th to celebrate the 10th anniversary of Ian Fitness. We've linked additional details for you over on New Day's homepage. You'll also find this segment up on New Day's homepage later on today, and you can just do the workout right along with them.